What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix the couldn't start error you are getting when launching Valorant on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First of all, make sure that your antivirus application and firewall is not blocking parts of the software. Search for firewall in your taskbar search to open up your firewall and network protection system settings window. On this window, select to allow an app through Firewall. Select to change settings and then allow another app. Select Browse and your File Explorer will open up. Navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on, Program Files, Riot Games, Valorant, Live and here select the Valorant application and select Open. This will allow you to exclude the application from being blocked by your firewall and will for some users prevent the issue. Next, use the shortcut Windows key and R, or simply search for Run and hit Enter. In this dialog box, type services.msc to open up your Service Control Manager. On this window, make sure to find the VGC service. Right-click the service and select Properties. In the General tab, set the startup type to Automatic and apply your changes. Next. Make sure to start the service if the service status is set to stopped. When this is done, open up your file explorer and navigate back to the drive on which you saved Valorant on. Here go to Program Files, Write Games, Valorant, Live and right click Valorant to get to its properties. On this window, navigate to the Compatibility tab and select to disable full screen optimizations. Don't forget to apply your changes. Lastly, make sure that your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates System Settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. In case nothing helped, then your game files might be corrupted or incomplete. Uninstall Valorant and Vanguard from your system and reinstall the software to your SSD. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.